It is estimated in the next five years, more than a quarter of Maine's population will be 65 or older. That's according to the Maine Council on Aging, and half of those seniors live alone and need help with things like shoveling, especially today. That's where a community effort comes into play, and they need your help. It's Alina Maladiki's first day on the job, volunteering in the cold. It's huge. We get, you know, especially after the last storm, we got 14 more calls from folks. But the appreciation is heartwarming. Just wonderful. This is Richard Layton's home. Oh, it's been terrific for me because unfortunately uh, I'm 72 now and I've had some heart problems a little bit and I also have uh, problems with my iron levels. Layton is one of several seniors across nine Portland neighborhoods who are paired with a shoveling volunteer all winter long. During the winter it's a lifeline to be able to get out. It's an effort from the age-friendly Portland Steering Committee, and they need more help. The snow is not going anywhere, so we, we definitely need more volunteers. Volunteers aren't required to shovel the whole driveway. They just have to clear a path to get to basic things like the mailbox or the trash. Just takes, you know, maybe 10, 20 minutes to get the essential shoveling done. But there's more to it. This is just one of the many ways and in, in services in Portland and, and throughout Maine that are able to help folks be less isolated. Volunteers lend a hand. <laughs> so somebody picked me up and, and an ear to, to listen. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm a fan of Maine, so and if you're going to be a fan of Maine, then what are you going to do? You got to be at least uh, open to the snow. Richard's absolutely right there. Anyone who is interested can find out more information at our website and mobile app. Meanwhile, the Age-Friendly South Portland Committee has launched a similar effort. Since November, they've delivered more than 250 sand buckets to homes across the city to help seniors and people with mobility challenges.